This tutorial will show how to search for invalid taxon names that your collection is using. It means that your taxonomy source must be one that does include the taxon status. And here's an example from TPT via Arctos showing taxon status invalid. Here's an example from Arctos showing an invalid status. And here's one from Arctos plants. If your taxon source does not include taxon status um, or does not have the distinction between valid and invalid, then this won't be feasible to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to write SQL under reports and services, and we're going to go to our cheat sheet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to SQL and we're going to go to the taxonomy section, and we're going to find names used in accepted DMNS, and in this case is the invert, our collection with taxon status of invalid. If we do this, as you can see here, it is set up for a specific collection. You would need to modify the collection and you would need to modify the source. And then you should probably be able to get um, the data that you're looking for. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back and do a paste into SQL. and run our query. And this is giving us all of the names. We have 55 names that are invalid taxon names that are currently in use. And I'm just going to copy these. Um, I've had it done as a table. And then I can review each one of these in whatever my preferred source is to determine what would be the appropriate name to replace. In our case, we're going to take this list and I'm going to just copy it out to an Excel spreadsheet and then I'm going to go to worms and worms has a taxon tool called match taxa and I'll be able to choose that file and run it and it will tell me if there is a match to the correct name and then I can go in and modify that on each of my records.